Yuri Vitachi seemed destined for a life of strife. Born on the paradisical island of Sri Lanka, his family fled after they were directly targeted in the communal violence that swept the island for many years. He settled in Hong Kong and worked as a humorist, focusing on Asian culture. It's a somewhat dangerous ground, especially in the 1980s and 90s. But Vitachi, who has Islam and communism in his own background, believed that everyone has a sense of humour. And he set out to prove it. Slowly and steadily, using newspapers, magazines and the internet, he grew his own audience. Today, his columns are printed all over Asia, including in China, India and Indonesia. They are read regularly by millions of readers a month of every race and culture. At MrJam.org, he's built a virtual community he refers to as the Quite Good Noodle Shop, based on a real tea shop in Hong Kong. Many people rejoiced to see this risk taker finally succeed. But this is more than just the story of an Asian humorist who found his audience. He's also got something valuable to say about Asian culture. As a commentator, he has worked for some of the world's most serious media organisations, having had regular slots on the BBC, CNN, Bloomberg and CNBC. In print, Yutachi has written for many famous publications, including the Wall Street Journal Group and Time magazine. And his books, which include The Feng Shui Detective and The Karma Sutra of Business, have been published in many languages around the world. Today, Vitachi is one of Asia's best-known writers. But at heart, he remains an entertainer. 25 years ago, uh, I arrived in Hong Kong with nine US dollars in my pocket. Two and a half decades later, I owe HSBC two million dollars. <laughs> I made it. 